Today I wanted to uh, run through setting up uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, uh, the 6 point uh, whatever revision, whatever is out right now. Uh, I think in my case it's 6.4. Uh, this is not the older free version, this is the pay version. Uh, I have not had any success getting the uh, free version to work with the ICOM 7300 yet, uh, but uh, I uh, will see if I can get that to work for people that would prefer the older version. I've already downloaded the uh, free trial setup, so I'm going to go ahead and run that now. If you get the user account control prompt, press yes. <clears throat> the install aware wizard will pop up and uh, run through its process. So we'll give that just a moment here. Okay, so once we have the Ham Radio Deluxe Install Aware Wizard window, we'll press Next. You'll have to accept the terms of the license agreement, uh, and you can read it if you like. Some people do, some people don't. I'll go ahead and click Next here. And it's uh, asking where you would uh, like to install the program to. The default should be fine in most cases. We'll click Next. Program folder. Uh, in this case, normally you would install it for anyone who uses the computer. In this case, I'm going to install it only for me, since this is a, a demonstrator account. And uh, we're ready to uh, configure Ham Radio Deluxe, so we'll click Next. And uh, looks like the installer is running. So we'll just wait for this process to complete. I can see that it just created a desktop icon for us. All right, and we have successfully completed the install wizard. It's giving us the option to run Ham Radio Deluxe now, so I will do that, and I will click Finish. And it popped up behind everything else. Okay. I'm going to have to enter my call sign here. That's fine. I don't have an activation key. I have not purchased one yet. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes, so we're going to activate this as a trial. And the instructions say that if we don't have an activation key, we can click Next to get the 30-day trial. So that's what I'll do. We're set for 30-day trial. All right. I believe from here we can simply continue. <coughs> All right, so we'll have to tell him Radio Deluxe what radio we're using and where it's located. So, this is an ICOM, and it is a 7300. It's on COM3. 115.200 is our speed. CIV address is 94. I believe that's all correct. I'm going to tell it to connect to the radio and see what happens. Yes, we have control of the radio here. All right, so if you're using the newer version of Ham Radio Deluxe, in this case, version 6.4, then the setup is quite simple to uh, connect to your ICOM IC7300. So uh, I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, just to close, I would mention that uh, there can sometimes be issues if your control program crashes, it will leave your radio in a state where uh, your microphone will not work uh, because it is set to only take audio from the PC. There's uh, some menu options that you can change if that happens on the 7300 to uh, get your mic functionality back without having to uh, reset the radio. I have a video that further covers that, and I'll put a link down below. If you have any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. And uh, I hope you've found this video informative, and uh, I hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.